please. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, that's my background today because I, I was looking for bees, had the bees which I had last week and and this is a, this is just the looking at bee. the story here, um, uh, Queen of Sheba and Solomon. So you've got, my head's getting in the way, isn't it? So Queen of Sheba talking to Solomon behind me to the right and then they're pointing down so if i maybe it's better just, i just shared a screen so the pointing down to and then this is i'm surmising here i am i'm sure you can go and this is from the national gallery of ireland it's quite famous work and I, i've done the post on it so you can find out the and i'll put it in the notes underneath the underneath this talk um and then you and then i guess um it's to be confirmed but i if this is hiram but i assume this is hiram and like we were saying there's there's this interesting holding of the pearl necklace between him and the and the servant figure here yeah Anyway, it's interesting to go, this is kind of looking at art, and I think that's one of the things since last week that we were um, looking at, which was um, the whole artistic aspect behind the, the, behind the Great Reset. You know, we were looking into the soul of trying to look into the soul of Klaus Schwab and um, that whole aspect of, I knew this wasn't going to work. <laughs> uh, anyway, you speak, you speak. It, no, it's good because it, uh, we're saying that art can sort of say something without saying it in too uh, sort of dogmatic a fashion. It can kind of evoke realities that are immaterial so the great reset um proponents seem obsessed with sort of power structures because that's all they can see as far as i can tell you know they're they're looking at the world and seeing problems and inequalities and want to uh, 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 you know help to adjust the world to a better place but only with, but in a very sort of mechanical fashion um, um we spoke that maybe they are missing the the more artistic side of themselves you know bringing the artistic towards the scientific because the artistic can say something that the scientific can't say in its its sort of um cut and dried fashion and this is a great exemplar of of an artistic expression because you know we're exploring it there's a whole um I was going to say universe of relationships going on there that are being expressed and, and we can um, uh, try and discover that and what is our relation to it. You know, what, what does it mean that the uh, the servant fell and that the short swarthy punky guy may be the most important one in the picture after all? It's interesting to look at the uh, the face of the dog. <laughs> the dog, is he glaring, growling at Hiram? Or um, is he looking beyond him at something else entirely? <laughs> 